ladies and gentlemen kama ambavyo tulivyokufahamisha tangu show inaanza na unasikiliza maisha remix at times fm radio live kutoka kae beach dar es salaam alwatan jr junior gwiji la muziki bongo flavor nipo na my brother bandago kama uh-huh. kawaida udidi wetu tuko na didi diana ushela na dj icon pia kama ka yani tumetulia timu imekamilika sasa hii time bana ndio ile time ambayo kila mtu anaisubiri mm. na ni kweli mda wetu wa kumeza mm. kumeza ulimi bayani bana tuko naye studio na bitu pigie naye story my brother what's up i'm good brother Are you good yeah i'm good JR. welcome welcome to zania yeah. JR yeah. umemsifia sana bayani wakati tunafungua sasa hivi alafu ah. jamaa kama tumemwacha sana so inabidi so ni mwambie kwa niaba ah you want niaba ya wa binti so mkarimani okay okay mkarimani so okay. so okay. so okay. uh, you have been lost here you know yeah, <laughs> yeah for real for real that's why you, i i told i told i told JR that i we have to explain to you uh while the Tata remix was being like playing at the back He was saying that the first time he heard this song was um he was kind of requested it, it was a request of course, yeah, of course. and he was like who is this guy and the DJ told him that this is Bayan from Nigeria so it's the, it was a massive a very big track it was cool he he get it and he was like okay this dude we need to see him we need to uh, do something with him so mm-hmm. yeah like yeah. that it's been a pleasure to see you uh, it's a pleasure the pleasure is mine actually yeah. You're yeah. doing very well here in Tanzania. Thank you so much. Welcome once Hello. again and again and again here yeah. in Tanzania yeah. FM Radio. <laughs> First of all, uh congratulations for your major and global hit uh Ta Ta Ta. Mm-hmm. But tell us how you managed to create such a magical song. When I heard it for the first time like Didi told you, I lost myself like what's really what's really what's happening going on? <laughs> <laughs> what, kind, what kind of music is this uh, okay. yeah. um basically um shout out to everyone here uh, the energy is so hyper hyper and i, I love it okay. <laughs> thank, thank you too yeah. thank you too you're most yeah. um creating the song was just like every other song i normally create i like to put myself inside my music i like to um sing from a personal um place maybe a place of experience or something i've thought about you know okay. so i like to make my music personal so that that was a personal song just like every other song on my yeah. debut ep um the bayani ep every song is personal to me so i like to i like to make my put myself in my music yeah. so that that was an experience actually and <laughs> you, know, you know you know you <laughs> know Yeah. No, no, you are. Yeah. So everything is song. She said I was lazy. She said baby don't play. All those things happened a week before I recorded the song. Okay. And when I was in the studio, this producer, Prestige is an amazing guy. He was late for the session. We were supposed to create something from the start. Okay. But um he was late, so I just told him to play a couple of beats. And the mm. first beat he played was that beat and the only thing that could come to my mind when the beat was, you know, there was this there's this bass yeah. in the beat. He was giving me this. <laughs> I was yeah, so I just nah, I just came out. I I couldn't even stop it because it was like a freestyle for like the first one minute. Mm. And then he heard it and he was like, "Are you sure?" And then I was like, "Okay, let's let people from outside come inside and hear it." And yeah, yeah. everyone started to go, you know, nuts and like, "What's this?" <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's I mean, great. Um as far as I know that you're working working with um Marvin Records. It's a very big label in Nigeria and there's a lot of um artists over there wants to be in that um record label. Uh, why is it for you being in there and how is it difficult different for you to work as a solo artist? Um um it's just inspiring for me to be there because like there's a lot of greats that have come out of the um, the label. You know, we have Tio Savage, we have Van de Koe, we have Ricardo Banks, mm. we have the Banj, we have like so many big artists that have come out of the same label. Yeah. So it just makes me know that I'm in I'm in the right place okay. and if I put in the right work, I'm going to get where I want to be. Nice. Okay. So how did Don Jazzy find you and what do you have to say about him? Uh first of all, Don Jazzy is is an amazing guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's such an amazing guy, He's such an humble man and uh he reached out to me in my Instagram. Oh wow. yeah, just like that. Yeah, just like that. I mean, I don't know what happened, how he saw my video, but I know I tagged him more than a billion times. <laughs> 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 you know, yeah, I, I used to tag everyone back then. You know, when I was posting freestyles, I posted freestyles for like a year consistently, mm. and uh, it was December of 2019, the freestyle year for me. That was like my freestyle because I was so 
so everywhere with my first house and um he reached out december 9 2019 19th of december and um that was it it was just like bonjour i was like oh my god is this the real don jazzy or some <laughs> fake, or, yeah. or some is fake this, account is fake? yeah <laughs> so then I, I was checking the page you know i was going back and checking and back and checking i was like okay it's actually verified i went through the post mm -hmm. to see if it was actually real or some bummer account but it was the one and uh then after 30 minutes of reading and thinking of what to say 30 yeah. minutes yeah for up real to, yeah up to, literally up to 30 minutes then i actually replied and then he replied almost instantly because i was scared he wasn't going to reply <laughs> anymore i, I, I felt like it might just be like oh, maybe a hit of the moment he just saw me and was like oh he just said to just say hi to this yeah. guy mm -hmm. but then he was really interested he was like he checked my post he, he was on my page for like a good two hours you know checking every video i made my comments seeing how i interact with the fans even mm -hmm. though i had like a 500 views back then, mm -hmm. 800 comments, 5 mm -hmm. comments, 10 mm -hmm. comments. Yeah. So it was like he just loved the dedication and consistency I had. And it feels like he can build something with me and that was it. Nice. Cool. So uh, for the first, when the first time you, you guys, you two meet, what did he tell you? The uh, <laughs> the first, the first, the first night I met him, uh, I was starstruck because uh, <laughs> I, I didn't know what to do actually okay. because he's somebody I really look up to, you know. I've looked up to him even since when I was like a kid from movies to you know everything like um seeing him is like seeing him real life back mm. then was like amazing for me so yeah. I didn't first get myself I wasn't myself for like a good 15 minutes mm. I was just standing he told me to sit down a couple of times I couldn't sit because I was like <laughs> so, so you so, were shocking yeah like how, how am I going to see it what am I going yeah. to like so the but then was shaking yeah but then he, he made me feel comfortable after a couple of minutes and then I mean it was all bliss okay and also there are always drama in this entertainment industry especially when they sign artists under the certain label decide to leave the label mm. you know uh and what do you think should be done to avoid all the dramas like you know back and forth and all, everything like that um i just feel like um the label should always listen to the artist okay. most of the time when artists are on the labels the labels don't listen to the artist you know sometimes they 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 do things from their own side and they don't always think about the artist mm -hmm. you know as an artist you especially when you're an independent artist you make the decisions yourself mm. there's some certain level of freedom yeah even when you're under a label you should have a little bit of freedom too. yeah mm -hmm. you yeah. know you should be able to be yourself i shouldn't wear something that doesn't make me feel comfortable sure yeah. i shouldn't sing a song that doesn't make me feel comfortable yeah so if i want to do something even with the fact that i'm under a label what make what will make me authentic what will make me original is if I do what I want. Yeah. You know, if I sing what I want, like what I want to sing, and uh, a label like Maven does that, and that's just one of the reasons why he's that big, and it doesn't really have all those kind of issues that other labels have. Mm. Because as an artist, I sang to that time, and if, the first day I played it for Jazzy, Jazzy was like, "Are you sure about the song?" Oh, <laughs> yeah. He was like, "Are you sure about the song?" I was like, "Yeah. I mean, I like it." And then it was like, "Okay, let's play for the team." And then when we played it for the team, Jazzy saw the, everybody was going crazy and i was like nah 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 we have to drop this one yeah. <laughs> so yeah you know like they just they put you first you know like your um your view counts mm -hmm. and i think that's something that label should um, take right. um that is very perfect actually yeah. uh uh i really don't know where to start because it was so um bad actually about more bad uh whatever mm. happened there but i really wish for you to tell us say anything about uh, the talk uh, that encountered him you know until his death man mobad was a really good friend to me mm. very good such an amazing personality um we didn't get much time to spend together before he left and that's what pained me the most you know um He's such an amazing guy we met like two times and the third time we met we recorded a song a massive song okay. we we're, were already making plans to make contents and you know tease the song and yeah. then this whole issue with this label started and then before i knew it i just woke up one evening and then i'm seeing R.I.P. Mobad. i'm like yo what's going on are you guys hi. playing hi. Yeah. nah i didn't get myself for days man still not myself i'm just trying to just you know Sorry for the loss, my brother. Sorry for the loss. So, what's going on until now about more bad issues? Um, right now, um, the police are working on the autopsy. You know, 
so many there's so many gray areas with this mm. so many gray areas nobody knows what's going on there's so many people to question so many yeah. people to question so many people to question um he was buried then they had to bring out his body mm. to do mm. autopsy why was he buried so quickly mm. why are there so many gray areas and i just i just hope the police um comes back to us with something concrete you know yeah we have like a, i think a week more mm. to hear from them and let's just hope we get so the investigation is still going yeah. Okay. yeah so everything that we are seeing in the tv and the internet they are really happening in nigeria because of mobile's death yeah Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's switch it, switch it up. Tell us about the whole experience uh, uh, you had during working with Jason Dorillo and I mean the remix. Yeah. Basically, um, at that time, the song was getting uh, um, some sort of uh, global recognition. It was getting a lot of global recognition actually. Mm-hmm. And then we, we 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 came together as a team mm-hmm. to decide who was going to be best. Um, on the remix, you know, mm-hmm. you know, most times as an Afro, when you get an Afrobeat song that goes big, you um, you start thinking of possibilities of a future with a, another big artist, you know, in yeah. other places, you know, yeah. further push it. So that was just the same situation, uh, same scenario here. Um, then we 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 all drafted a couple of names mm-hmm. each, you know, in the team to um, see who's. Um, was going to be best okay. and the common name everybody was jason dorillo oh yeah yeah wow. it's just, <laughs> it just was very shocking the common name everybody was jason because we knew you know if you if you listen to jason you know you know he's uh it's that kind of guy mm-hmm. he's that guy mm-hmm. <laughs> he's the ladies guy mm-hmm. so it was just the right person to just put on the song and most of um there and and yes i don't think he's been on any afrobeat song mm-hmm. you know like so he was he was a scarce mm-hmm. person to put on the songs it was just right it was okay. just right okay so um Yeah, we reached out. Funny how we he had already heard the song. He loves the song already. Mm. So when we reached out, it wasn't difficult. It wasn't too difficult. You know, his team and my team just cooperated and the next thing, I think a week later, his verse came in and boom. Wow. <laughs> okay, can you can you a little bit uh talk about Justin Dalu? As we see him on the social media, social networks, he's uh, this kind of charming guy, funny and all those stuff. So you work with him. Uh, did you get time like you you spend a little bit time talking or you just uh, you just record the vo- uh, verses and send it no, to No, no, we actually had conversations but we didn't see physically. Oh, okay. Um the video for some reasons we couldn't shoot in the same area. Mm-hmm. So I shot mine here and then the shot in this is in Miami, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So but um I mean the video came out great regardless and mm-hmm. if I'm not saying this a lot of people think we were at the same place shooting mm-hmm. the video but yeah. um yeah due to some circumstances um I couldn't leave the country at the time you know mm. so yeah but basically he's an amazing guy he's a charming yeah he's all those that you see on social media and even more he's a he's a very cool guy he's a very chill guy he's free he's funny you know it's good okay. uh, tell me one thing what, what comes in your mind when you hear about bongo flavor uh do you usually listen to any of it bongo flavor tanzanian music oh tanzanian music sorry <laughs> <laughs> you see the the bongo flavor you call it is yeah. what is what threw me off you know okay. I, I, i don't know uh, i'm not I'm, i'm still learning a, a little swahili i think i know sa i know mm-hmm. um asante sana mm. okay uh, mambo i know mambo vp okay. <laughs> so, i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying so bongo <laughs> flavor that's the name of our agenda that's that's the name of the genre okay, okay. Afrobeat um, in nigeria I love East African music. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I have a lo- I have a long list of my favorite East African yeah. um, superstars here, yeah, definitely. Um, um but currently um I've been listening to this guy for months now, Mario. Mario. Um, Mario. This song um okay. Nakuja. I like yes. the song. I like the song. <laughs> I like the song. Yeah. yeah. Why Mario? Hmm? Why Mario? That song is amazing and mm-hmm. Nakuja is such an amazing song. Normally I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big um um east african fine I, i like i love the music here okay, you know nice. but um listening to that particular song just mm. i don't know like, good yeah it <laughs> yeah. makes me feel good like i like it okay. and i i think i heard the song for the first time when i was in kenya early this year mm-hmm. uh during, around my match during my tour um it was it was somebody that played it for me on the tv and i was like okay before i knew it 
Mm. Before I knew it, it was stuck in my head. <laughs> Before I knew it, it was stuck in my head. Yeah. Literally, every time I'm on the I'm I'm, I'm on the plane, mm-hmm. that's the song I listen to. Wow. So I'm not so, even capping so, you. So, so, I'm not even capping right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. If I'm on the plane right now, mm. like all the times I've flied over, like 50 times I flew this year. Yeah. I'm always listening to that song. Uh, do, do you even to it, do, do you even how to sing a little bit? I can try. You try. Uh, yeah, you yeah, do yeah, it yeah, twice. Yeah. We need it. For you. Okay, okay, okay. It goes like this. Nakucha, baby nakucha. Allow me, baby nakucha. Okay. Nakucha, baby nakucha. Allow me, allow me, baby nakucha. Montani, mire, kwako nyanga nyanga. So I, I wish you you two uh, you guys you can do a collab. Yeah, I mean I don't mind. Did, I don't did mind. you talk to him? No, no, I've not reached out to him. Oh. Let, let, let's listen to Mario's song Nakuja. We're gonna be this, back this soon. One, of course, We're gonna be back soon for real. Yeah. Of course. We this still need to talk about Mario. Mm-hmm. Eh? Yeah, but this real. one I play it because of Bayani. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He loved this song too much. Evan on his kids of a Shari mix the times of him radio live to the Kai Bichi Dar es Salaam. Lot and JR Junior Didi Way to Bandago. Ushelewa bana mpaka saba kamili mchana alafu tuko na mnyamwezi bayani mm-hmm. anafunguka tu ana yani ana baya ndugu yangu ana baya JR yeah. yeah. eh? Tanzania ambaye anatusikiza right now kupitia 100.5 Times of FM Radio tumemwacha na inawezekana kuna mwanangu amezima radio mwingine anafyonza kinoma yo tuko mm-hmm. na bayani kama tulivyokuambia ni msanii kutoka Nigeria na ngoma yake inajua wengi sana mnajua ta 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 na tumeongea naye vitu vingi sana kikubwa amezungumzia tumetoka kumaliza na kuzungumzia swala zima la uh, nakuja ambayo yeye yeah, amejua kama ni ngoma ambayo ya Mario lakini tutam correct Yaani tutamsaidisha baadaye hapa na kumwambia ni ngoma hiyo kwamba Mario pia amechirikishwa huko ndani na amesifia sana nadhani alipoimba melewa kwamba mm-hmm. jamani anakubali ameikubali yeah. sana ni ngoma ambayo anaisikiliza sana amesema muda mwingi anakuwa iko kwenye ndege lakini kikubwa ni kwamba amekuwa akisikiliza sana hiyo ngoma kwa msanii kutoka Tanzania amezungumzia um, namna ambavyo Moba ya jeans alivyokuwa ni rafiki yake alikuwa ni mshikaji wake sana na umepata time ya kukaa kama mara mbili tu hivi umezungumza na waliweka tayari plani za kufanya kazi mbele lakini kwa sasa hivi umeacha polisi endelee kufanya kazi yao uh, kwa sababu uh, inauma kufukuliwa amefariki amefukiwa amefukuliwa so ni majonzi na tunachokiona kwenye mitandao ya kijamii ndicho ambacho kipo kweli yeah. uh, uko Nigeria mm-hmm. lakini pia amezungumzia namna ambavyo wanafanya kazi kwenye record label ya Marvin Records kule anafanya kazi huko lakini yuko na wasanii wengine wengi sana mule ndani so kuna utofauti mkubwa um, wa kufanya hivyo na ako an appreciate yani anafurahia sana na shukuru kwa kile ambacho wanakipata kule still amezungumzia namna ambavyo record label zinafaa ku, uh, kuwasikiliza wasanii wao like msanii anatakiwa kusikilizwa nini anataka hata yeye rekodi yake ili msikiliza kwanza ngoma yake anayoipenda ikamuuliza kama yuko sahihi kwenye hilo na akasema yuko sahihi anaona ngoma ni nzuri ndio maana akaomba iplayiwe hiyo ngoma na watu baadaye wakaja wakaipenda so kwa yule ambaye tulimwacha kidogo hiyo ni kidogo nimekugaiia wanangu wagogo sawa ndio maana nikasema tuoga tujui lakini ilikija swala kama hili tunasikia kwa hiyo asante sana na mkalimani nashukuru sana mm. <laughs> sitaki wanangu mbagala waanze kutuchampa asante mkalimani <laughs> Uh, so bwana we were talking about um the issue we were discussing before like the interview the whole interview there from beginning from where we start like i was trying to explain tanzanian people because not most of them understand english so i was trying to explain in swahili what you just said and as you remember before we uh, went to the break we were listening to nakuja uh, you were talking about uh, mario and all those stuff um i want to tell you that nakuja is a song from this guy called uh, tommy forever yeah. Tommy Flavor. Yes, and Tommy Flavor uh featured uh, Mario. Mm-hmm. So, I uh, want you to tell us um if you get a chance to do Nakuja remix, would you do that because you keep listening to Mario uh or you would prefer to do any music with Mario? Um I think it goes both ways, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um I would definitely love to do yeah. a remix on the song and you know, if the vibe is right, we can also do something new, you know. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of that, you're in Tanzania here right now, and there's a lot of artists in here. Uh, um, when you, I mean, let's take let's take um, Mario out of this list. Mm-hmm. I want you to give me your list. Would you do? Uh, would you do a collaboration with any artist in Tanzania? If you're gonna do it, who will be if not Mario? Uh, I I already have uh, a lot of collaborations with some. Okay. Tell us, okay. okay. Tell us, my brother. But I can't tell. No. <laughs> just just, just okay. give us exclusivity. That's why you're here. Tell us. I, 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 I have promised myself to keep it as a surprise. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. So okay. just know that I have some very, very beautiful songs with Tanzanian, Tanzanian artists. artists. Yeah. And then, if Beautiful you're not going to give us the names, then mm-hmm. tell us about any top top list of artists in Tanzania, the, the people okay. that you listen to. That I listen to. Yes. Um, Harmonize, mm-hmm. okay. Rivani, okay. Yeah. Zuchu, okay. Yeah. Mario, okay. uh, Mbuso, okay. uh, Diamond Platinums, mm-hmm. uh, this guy, J Melody. J Melody, of course. Okay. Yes. Okay. J Melody, of course. Um, yeah, I think those are the ones I can remember right now. Okay. Nice. And then, what's the difference between Afrobeats and other African music? I mean, other other genre from, from Africa, you know? We, we always speak like Afrobeat is from Nigeria. Mm. What's the difference? Um, Afrobeat uh, was originated by um, a man called Fela. Fela, Fela Kuti. Kuti. Fela Kuti. Mm. Yeah. Mm. He's the originator of Afrobeat, mm-hmm. and um, Afrobeat comes from um, a place of um, culture. So I think um, what I can just say, you know, just like the cultures are different yeah. everywhere you go to, the culture here is different from the culture in Nigeria. Yeah. So that is what makes the music different also, because the music is the culture. So and the reason that we have different culture is the same reason why we have different music. Mm. So Afrobeat is different because of the culture, you know. Nice. Okay. So let's talk about low waste. Uh, so you can yeah. tell us a bit about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> just like every other song, like I said, mm-hmm. um, low waste is a personal song to me. Is a is my new single just dropped a couple of days ago. I think four days ago, and um, you know. Everyone is loving it so far. Okay. I don't know if you've listened to it, but it's such an amazing done. song. We are already listening. Yeah, and you know me, I'm about the ladies, you know. Ladies! <laughs> 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 I'm about the ladies, you know. Mm-hmm. So, like, basically, uh, it's not like I don't sing for the guys, you know. I got you, I got you. But, you know, the ladies comes first for me. Yeah. 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 Sorry, <laughs> sorry to say. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the song Low Waste is just talking about, you know, appreciating women's beauty and you know all their sweetness and mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. you know there are a different type of waste mm-hmm. you know, yeah there is different type of waste but mm-hmm. there is a particular waste called the low waste mm-hmm. you see that waste <laughs> low waste you know it when you see it Let me <laughs> say like i got that. you i got you that's that mm-hmm. you know you know mm-hmm. 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 you guys men talk now you're lefting me behind <laughs> <laughs> we are sorry for this but actually you, you it's because of you uh, girls uh, yeah i get it um, um the, pro- the, uh, the promotion of uh low waste was like you were kind of uh, i don't know why did you choose the port? You put the earphone on the port. I mean, headphone on the port. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> you were very serious with these two guys moving around everywhere. Like, yeah. you, come here. You have to listen to this. Why, yeah. why the port? It's just uh, it's just my kind of thing. I, I like to... <laughs> before before I drop something, before I come out with a music or something, mm. I like to I like to let people know that I'm coming. Okay. Mm. I like to keep you prepared, you know. Okay. Just to let you know that I'm coming, you know. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. basically, the concept with that is I'm cooking. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And inside the pot, there's an headphone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, like a chef's job is to cook food, um, a mechanic's job is to walk on a car. My job is to make music. Yeah. Okay. So, basically, if I'm cooking, mm-hmm. it has to be music. Okay. So, that is where the idea comes from the headset in the pot and me going around and telling you, listen to my song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's about to come out. Just, you know, give you a little tips, um, uh, a little um, part of the song, you know, just just for you to like be hungry mm. you know that's why we have teasers and we have all those things so mm. that's just like a teaser for the song yeah right. and it was like by fire by force you're gonna listen yeah, to this song yeah you have to listen <laughs> 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 yes this one you have to put uh, to make 
make it clear mm. i've been uh, been looking on youtube and see bayane's uh, channel mm. and there's um marvin records channel mm. there's certain songs are not in your um channel. your channel mm. like uh, tata og mm -hmm. it's not there but there's tata remix on there mm -hmm. and this uh low west is there i just want to know is it is it like misunderstanding people like no. you, you confuse people no what? so basically what happens is when you're coming out right um your first ep that's a debut ep mm. it'd be nice to have it on a platform that has like a lot of audience yes mm -hmm. so that you can gain your fans mm. and then from there you can move on to your own channel yeah. okay. so basically that's the idea so oh. basically no coming into the ep um dropping your ep um you, you you don't want to start with the channel with zero zero mm -hmm. subscribers you know yeah. Yeah. so yeah. the maven channel the liberal channel has like over two million subscribers yeah. mm -hmm. so it's just best from a rich um perspective you want more rich for the you know this, you're just coming you new, mm. so you need people to listen to you when they listen to you then they can go and follow and subscribe to your channel mm. so mm. that's it okay so to skill is a cousin yeah yeah bayani yapa no, we switched. Uh, you, you, you switch. What yeah. were the feeling in the studio when you um, create this? Um, I wanted to really sing on the song. Okay. So that's the reason why you see a lot of singing on the song because I wanted people to see that, oh, I can sing. Okay. You know, and um, I don't like to go one way. Mm -hmm. I like to be versatile. So you're going to hear a lot of other kind of type of music from me. Mm -hmm. Um, recently, I've been listening to Compa. Don't know if you know Compa. You know Compa music. Compa music. Ah, what what is it. that? Uh, I think it's from Congo or something. It's from, ah, okay. from an African. Okay, okay. Is it new music? Yeah. Is it that is no, it's, it's, new music? It's, it's, it's a genre that has been. Um, ah, yeah, has been in a, yeah, So Compa. I may I may hear the song, uh, but I don't know the name of the genre. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. I, I'm sure if I play a couple, if I ask for if I. Um, play search for a couple you'd know okay. you'd have heard the sound okay. so basically um, I just like to I don't like to be one way mm -hmm. I like to like do different things try different things if I sing this way on this type of beat my first song my next song I don't want to be that same I don't want to do that same thing mm -hmm. do you know the reason um, can you eat one food for one week mm -hmm. no. no never I can't myself I can't maybe so in jail if, if I am a chef right Okay. I can't cook one food for you for one week, the same food, every day, morning, after night. Yeah. You get tired on yeah. the third day even. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm an artist. What I cook is music. Mm -hmm. So why should I give you the same type of music, the same sound every time? You would get tired. Yeah. Yeah, so for, for me, I even me would get tired. You know. Mm -hmm. So for me, I like to give different flavors. So if I give you ta 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 this time with a hop tempo, the next one can be low waist. You know, just talking about you know something you can listen to when you want to sleep, mm -hmm. yeah. something you can listen to to put you in the mood. You know, mm -hmm. then the next one too can just come. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just unpredictable oh, basically. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Do Do you plan to come back to Tanzania ever again? Yeah. I love it here. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've been here for what? I've been what? outside every time I've been here. I've been here for like three days and I've been outside all through. For real? <laughs> yeah. Do you see the vibe on the club? Like, I did you get it? I love the vibe. I love the ladies too. Oh, the lady again. <laughs> the lady again. Nigerian. Oh. <laughs> Your brother, what can Actually, I do? It's yeah, not me. Uh, <laughs> You're the very first right. Time in the, uh, the first time uh, Ward came to Tanzania, okay. he he dropped the song um, called um, Location. And um, on the video, Video, he take the, I mean the scene where from Tanzania, Zanzibar, Tanzania here in Dar es Salaam and Zanzibar. Do you plan to have uh, maybe Music the video? video? Yes. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I may just come and shoot low waist video here. I don't know. And where's the? Yes, we get ladies. Because here. there's a lot of low waist here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So many. Because of that, oh, I can't even I, concentrate. I pronounce, <laughs> I pronounce to give him this gift so that he, when uh -huh. he wear it, uh -oh. okay. when okay. he wear it, he'll be like, okay, I have to go back to Tanzania. You should wear it. Uh -oh. It's got, it's uh -oh. gonna be tight a little Is bit, but fit? when you push I'm it, you push try. it hard, I'm it's gonna be okay. So when you when you you see that you're gonna see like okay i have to go to tanzania to do the video music video to see uh, i mean to do a lot of stuff in tanzania it's gonna be cool yep so it's a so, gift by any uh our time is running out so yeah. uh I'm a, I'm a piano is very big now in africa maybe mm -hmm. all over the world mm -hmm. any plan for i'm a piano music 
definitely just like i said i i, I like to taste everything you know? mm. mm-hmm. so basically i'm def- i even have already i i have some very nice ama piano songs okay okay when the time is right it's gonna come out like, okay yeah, yeah. very nice we're gonna wait for that yeah, go ahead, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah just just be ready for anything because i don't like to um talk too much about mm. something i just like to come and then hmm. So just like I said, I have a couple of amazing songs with some Tanzanian artists mm. that I already mentioned. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, so Let's just wait. So. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> this mashup uh, with Kid featuring David O, uh, all the media one day called mashup. This one, it, it involved you guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did that mashup. Uh, I think uh, almost a year ago now. Uh-huh. Um, that was just a mashup of some of my favorite songs. Um, Yeah, in the Nigerian music industry, there are a lot of people that are like my um favorites, you know. Um I've listened to them when I was just beginning to start my career, you know. Mm. Um David, Wizkid, Burner, um Wonder Cole, Two Face, mm-hmm. um The Bang, B Square, Star Plus. You know, all these names, Nines, there's so many big names, so many big people on the Nigerian music industry that influenced my sound techno very heavy on techno mm-hmm. yeah. yeah um that influenced my sound so far and um if you listen to me sometimes you can pick one or two things from you know around okay okay uh anything you have to share with your Tanzanian fans I mean who are listening to you right now via Times FM radio yeah just know I love you guys I love it so much here in Tanzania Tanzania is like a second home for me you know wow. uh, yeah I, I feel at home here because I don't know for some reason here reminds me of my country just in a better way okay <laughs> <laughs> just in a better way maybe because of the ladies I don't know uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> thank uh, you for yeah, your time my brother know, hope yeah, I'll see you soon I'm having a blast okay. so Law West is on all digital platforms yeah you can stream my new single Law West on every digital platform out there Apple Music, Tidal, uh, SoundCloud, YouTube, Boomplay, everywhere. Okay. Just um, type low waste. Mm-hmm. It's just gonna bring it up. Straight mm-hmm. up. Straight up. Ebane, tunaeka nukta hapa. Kesho pia ni siku. Kuanzia sanne kamili ya subuhi mpaka saba kamili mchana. Tumemalizana na bayani. Na umesikiliza pia. Unilakunda kuisikiliza kwa mara nyingine kazi yake. Mupia, mupia kabisa. Mm-hmm. Lowest ambayo imekuwa ya kwanza kutambulishwa kwenye vituo vya redio hapa Times FM ndani ya Tanzania. Mm-hmm. Exclusive kabisa kwa mara nyingine tena unaisikiliza Maisha Remix ya Times FM. Naitwa Luatan JR Junior. Gwiji la muziki wa Bongo Flavor my brother Bandago kama kawaida na bandaga zake. Eh hey. udidi wetu didi Diana, Shelba na kwa niaba ya ya, ya team zima ma DJ tuko na DJ Icon na kwa niaba ya team ya production Tila mm. Tila ni Blaze ni Tila kwa niaba ya team ya Bayani kwa niaba ya team ya Bayani atake mwenyewe Bayani you come with people okay come here come here you say hello to Tanzanian people say something your name Oh hi guys, my name is Topsy from Team Bayani. Okay. Thank you Tanzania for the hospitality. Thank you for the love. We love you and we can't wait to do this more 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 often again. Thank you. Sir. Lowest yap in a Kamilisha Mesha remix leo. Enjoy. Mm-hmm.